Well, I think City Week has become a really important event in the International Financial Services calendar because of the range of speakers and delegates that it brings together. And it always manages to bring them together to examine key issues for the sector at the, uh, at, you know, at the time. And this year, under the theme of financial services in the new COVID-19 world, um, there have been really timely discussions on an array of topics from green finance, cyber security to financial regulation and data sharing. And I, I'm really impressed at the way that uh, City Week has been able to uh, move to this virtual uh, format and still continue to facilitate these interesting and timely discussions. So uh, this year, I was very pleased to give the keynote address at the start of the fourth plenary. And for me, it was an opportunity to speak about the important role in financial and professional services in the economic recovery and the continued competitiveness of the city, London and the UK. And it's going to be really vital that the UK maintains its openness to international business and an openness which has been a cornerstone of our global competitiveness. Well, the great thing about City Week is the way that it brings together a wide range of policy experts and leaders from across the political and business spheres to speak on the gamut of important issues facing the sector. It really manages to bring in a range of different perspectives to look at the uh, important issues of the day. Well, I managed to uh, get through without muting myself. I thought the digital platform worked really well. And as I say, I think it's been great that uh, City Week has managed to move so effectively uh, to a virtual format. Uh, City Week uh, focuses on some of the most pressing issues for the sector at, at the time. And this year that's included green finance, operational resilience and financial crime, as well as a range of international perspectives. I think it's going to be really important going forward that ESG, environmental, social and governance issues, remain a permanent feature of industry debates, uh, particularly in the lead up to COP26 uh, next year. Um, uh, these are critical issues. Um, they're critical in themselves and also because of investor uh, expectation uh, and it's important that we keep looking at them and identify industry solutions to the challenges faced. A, a global approach is going to be key, taking the best practice from industry and regulators around the world. And I think we also need to continue to focus on the UK's global competitiveness the UK financial and professional services sector has thrived over centuries thanks to its ability to innovate and adapt to challenges. And this era is no different, uh, save that we have some really significant challenges. And uh, it's vital that uh, uh, um, it's vital that we retain that spirit of innovation, um, build on our strengths, and also that our regulatory environment ensures that the industry remains world leading.